the missing plane landed 37 years after it disappeared. What happened in reality? Hello friends, perhaps many of you heard enough of different and mysterious stories about planes disappearing. Some of them crashed and some later were found, but it's still a mystery what happened to others since no traces of air crash were found. Overall, global aviation is replete with examples of such similar cases, which leaves us with many unanswered questions. But even among them, there is one that's been circling around for a while, not only on the internet, but in the media as well. We're going to be talking about Flight 914, of course, that many named as Jump or Lapse in Time. Let's figure out what happened there and what's the explanation of this legendary flight, as well as understanding where the truth lies. According to available data, on the 2nd of July 1955, the airplane, a Douglas DC-4 Pan American Airlines, was traveling from New York to Miami. There were 53 passengers and 5 cabin staff on board that day. Three hours after takeoff, the plane didn't reach the airport, and according to data provided by an air traffic controller, disappeared without a trace. Surely, the government tried their best to find the plane, but after some time had come to terms with the fact that they were unable to find any traces of its crash. After two weeks of searching, it was called off, and after six months, the case was closed. The plane was considered missing. Perhaps it was possible to forget about Flight 194 forever and let the documents collect dust on the shelves in an archive. But suddenly, the mysterious flight reasserted itself, not by crashing in an ocean to be found, but by landing in an airport in Venezuela. 37 years after takeoff. The airport staff were even more surprised to see a plane that wasn't in the flight maps in Caracas in 1992. The air traffic controllers saw it from the tower, but what surprised them the most was the fact that it wasn't visible on the radar. At the request of the controller to contact, the pilot of an unidentified aircraft blurted out that he was operating the Flight 914 from New York to Miami and that he had 53 passengers and 5 cabin staff on board. At the end of his message, the pilot asked where they were since the airport seemed very unfamiliar. The air traffic controller explains that it was the airport of Caracas and gave permission to land. The pilot didn't respond to that, but during landing they did hear his cry, Jimmy, what is that? The pilot was taken aback by the jet taking off. That's hardly surprising considering the fact that 37 years ago he couldn't have seen something like that. When the Flight 914 finally landed on one of the tarmacs, the controllers could hear heavy breathing of the pilot. After a while, he said that something was wrong, but after they've informed him that he landed on the 21st of May 1992, an emotional reaction and swearing followed. The pilot claimed it wasn't possible, and all attempts to calm him down failed. And after the pilot was informed that the ground team had already left for them, they were confused and disconcerted. Controllers on the tower heard the pilots talking to each other emotionally. They were very surprised and scared and told each other that they'd never seen anything like it. Apparently, it was about what they observed around them, namely new places and others which simply could not have existed back in 1955. But the airport staff wasn't even less surprised when they approached the aircraft. They saw an old aircraft, Douglas DC-4, an American four-engine aircraft that was mass-produced from 1938 till 1947 and you might have guessed had been discontinued. They were also able to see the surprised faces of the passengers in the windows. The captain of the aircraft opened his window and waved his flight log. He demanded them not to approach the aircraft. The cabin staff was getting nervous. After a few minutes, the pilot started the engine and began moving the plane. The pilot ignored all the requests to stay on the tarmac and after that, the crew of the plane didn't communicate with anyone. After that, the plane picked up speed and took off and soon disappeared in the horizon. It's still a mystery if the Flight 914 landed home. The journalists say that the only proof of this occurrence is a calendar from 1955 that fell out of the pilot's log and the recorded conversation between the pilot and the air traffic controllers. This is how it usually ends, friends. The story became popular worldwide. Many argue about how this was possible and split into those who believe it and those who don't. And perhaps it would be wrong for us to end the story here leaving you with so many unanswered questions. But we've decided against that, and we now present to you how it really was. The story was first published in Weekly World News publication, after which it was copied by many other resources. It was altered from time to time, the date would change from 1992 to 1990, 
After it became more popular, people started questioning it and found out if there was no official evidence of an air crash in 1955. Thus, what plane could land in 1992? The last thing we want to share with you is the Weekly World News was publishing from 1975 till 2007 and specialized on fictional articles. Naturally, there is no historical data about a missing plane or its passengers or something of that kind. You won't be able to find anything about this in the official sources. As disappointing as it is, the story is fictional. So, don't trust everything you see, even if you really want to. That's it for today. Give the video a thumbs up if you liked it and we'll see you soon.